Uh, thanks to the members of the media for joining our uh, press conference today. Uh, we will uh, start uh, with an opening statement from our general manager, Kelly McCrimmon. Kelly? Uh, good afternoon to the members of the media. Thank you for uh, being available. Uh, today, we completed a trade with the Chicago Blackhawks for uh, Marc-Andre Fleury. And just to give uh, the, the people on the call uh, some background on, uh, you know, two things, I guess, uh, the, the rationale behind it, as well as the process that we uh, use throughout. Uh, I, I'd begin, I guess, uh, by saying uh, these were conversations that began between uh, Mark Andre and myself at our exit meetings on uh, June 29th. Uh, at that time, uh, I told Mark that I uh, couldn't say for sure uh, what we would do with our uh, goaltending for the upcoming year. Um, I said to him, I wanted to treat him professionally. I wanted to treat him with respect. I wanted to have open lines of communication. I wanted him to be fully aware of any discussions that I might have uh, with teams. I wanted him to be completely comfortable if he heard uh, rumors or, uh, you know, saw things uh, out there that, uh, you know, made him uncomfortable or made him curious that he uh, certainly uh, should feel free to call me. Uh, we spoke many times from uh, from that day uh, up until, um, you know, as recently as uh, this Saturday that I spoke with his uh, representatives for their, uh, the final time. Uh, on uh, July the 12th, I believe we spoke three times. I, I made uh, flower uh, aware of Chicago's interest. We had uh, an open discussion about that. And, uh, you know, any other team uh, that I spoke to or any other team that contacted me uh, from the time that I met with uh, Mark Andre on June 29th until uh, up to and including a new team uh, who contacted me uh, for the first time on Saturday, uh, of which I made uh, them aware. So I think that uh, communication throughout this process was very good. I told, uh, uh, you know, I told Mark on the, on the, at the exit meeting, you know, I want to be able to uh, look him in the eye and tell, uh, and tell myself and make him understand or make him feel that he's been treated uh, professionally throughout uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, time frame. Uh, with respect to, uh, uh, and I, I should, I should conclude, uh, with respect to this morning, uh, the rumors hit uh, Twitter before I spoke to Mark Andre Fleury. We had not, uh, in fact, even completed the trade call. We hadn't begun the trade call with uh, with NHL Central Registry. Uh, we would never speak to a player before uh, you got to the trade call in case uh, things don't uh, don't unfold. So, with respect to this morning, uh, it was on Twitter before we had our trade call. Uh, completed and uh, uh, and and yet, as I've just detailed, um, you know there was uh, many discussions uh, throughout the time leading up uh, until today. Uh, in terms of the why, uh, what's the rationale behind the move? I, I think, uh, as you uh, on the call here would all know, we've been really fortunate. We had two great goaltenders uh, in our organization with Mark Andre and uh, and Robin Leonard. Uh, I give uh, both players a lot of credit. We made the decision to go with, uh, with that tandem last year based on a number of factors. Uh, we um, uh, collectively won the Jennings Trophy. Mark andre uh, individually won the Vesna Trophy. We <clears throat> had 40 wins, uh, which was tops in the NHL. We uh, tied for the, the President's Trophy. Uh, we had a successful playoff. We definitely... Uh, benefited from uh, both of those goaltenders. I think that uh, when you look uh, forward to this year, uh, I, I think that that same scenario might have been a little harder to manage. I, I mentioned uh, just a minute ago that I give both uh, Mark Andre and Robin a great deal of credit for how they handled it, but I know also uh, that these are two goalies that are both starters, and and I don't know that uh, there would have been the same appetite to do it uh, the same way from those players. Neither, uh, neither goaltender, to their credit, expressed any, uh, any concern or any issue. It's just, uh, I guess, more uh, my own observations uh, uh, with respect to that. And then, I guess, uh, you know, it ties into uh, 
you know, my job is to try to make our team better. And, uh, you know, to do that, you need uh, cap space to, uh, to improve. And I know last year being a cap team, if we're going to, uh, you know, work on any free agents, uh, you know, Alec Martinez is one that we've been working on. We're hoping to have news with respect to his status uh, tomorrow. We haven't made uh, final decisions on uh, Matthias Janmark or Thomas Nosik. Um, you know, the discussions you have with other teams about players that might be available, the free agents that might be available tomorrow. Uh, if you're going to improve your team, there's a cap space component to that that is, uh, that is definitely uh, challenging. So um, those things all uh, tie into the decision. And I guess, uh, I guess that uh, uh, at this point, uh, more importantly than uh, anything I've said so far, I'd like to uh, thank Marc-Andre Fleury for... Uh, his time in Vegas, it's uh, incredible uh, the moments that uh, we shared with him as part of our organization. He was the most uh, popular player I've ever seen in sports. He was the face of the franchise. When you uh, think back to how it all began, the storybook for a season, the, uh, you know, the uh, you know, the passion that he has for the game as, uh, as both a teammate and a uh, player that's uh, connected to the fan base. I want to recognize uh, his uh, great accomplishments, thank him for his time, uh, for his time here. He's had a tremendous impact on our organization. He's had a tremendous impact uh, on our city. So I know for uh, a lot of people, this is a, a day that uh, definitely is filled with sadness. And uh, certainly I share all of those same emotions uh, that you do. And yet, uh, I do feel, um, you know, I'm responsible to try to do everything I can uh, to put the best team on the ice. That's, uh, that's what, uh, you know, I'm doing along with the other uh, people in our hockey operations. We uh, work hard to make good decisions and uh, give you a team that you're going to be proud of. So, uh, again, uh, more importantly than uh, how I opened, I want to make sure that uh, Mark Andre uh, is recognized for all that he's done uh, for this organization. So with that, I'll uh, open it up uh, 